So first up, we have our HD audio connected down there. Moving along the board, you can see we have our fan connected and we have our front panel connected. They even label everything for you right there. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this episode of Newegg Now, I'm gonna be checking out the ASUS Prime D660 Plus D4 motherboard. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the key features. So this is Windows 11 ready. This supports LGA 1700 for your 12th gen Intel CPUs. We have USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 Type C. We have front USB Type C and we have 2.5 gig networking. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our user guide and manual right here walking us through everything we need to know about this motherboard. I highly recommend reading this through a couple of times before you begin your build so you really understand everything. Charts, diagrams, again, all the important and relevant information for you how to connect to all your headers. Next, you can see our miscellaneous parts and pieces. So we have a lot of different screws and standoffs for our M.2 drives, as well as some single-sided M.2 sticky pads. Then we have a DVD. So if you have a DVD player and you want to view the support documentation, you can do that with this included DVD. We have some cables for you, for your data. And you can see we have our faceplate that we'll need to install before we install our motherboard. So don't forget to do that when you're building your PC. And lastly, you can see the board itself right here, so check this out. Everything looks great. So you can see our four DIMM slots right there for DDR4. You're gonna start with the two gray ones first for your build if you're only doing two sticks of RAM. You can see a lot of different headers right here, USB 3.0 right there. So you can see how that looks. We have a USB type C, PCIe 4.0, and our M.2 drive right here, also PCIe 4.0 labeled for you. If I turn it around this way, you can see. It's labeled for you. Where we're gonna install our CPU, and you can see all of our I.O. options right there. Couple USB ports, USB Type-C. And then we'll flip it around. You can see the back side of the board as well. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. All right, so check it out. You can see we have our completed PC right here. The build turned out great. No issues at all whatsoever. Posted on the first try. Really happy with how everything came together. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the build in more detail. Now you can see the backside of our PC right here. We have our power supply at the bottom with our power cable plugged in, our GPU right here. You can see the additional exhaust fan that we installed with this build and it looks cool too because you can see some of the RGB glow out back. And then we have our IO shield and our motherboard ports in IO right there. Keep in mind when you buy cheaper motherboards, typically you have less ports and options there. I felt like this one struck a good balance for what I needed and I don't really need any USB ports or anything like that. So really happy with the options that we get right there. But obviously no Wi-Fi either, just 2.5 gig LAN, which is really nice. So now you can see everything from the side right here. It really came together nicely. Plenty of room to route and manage our cables properly from the side or down below and up through the shroud. We have our visible power supply cover right here. I like that we can see in there especially if you get a fancy one with some RGB or maybe a screen on it. But we have a nice shroud to still keep it quiet, cool, and separate from our build. Plenty of room on the side for additional expansion or maybe some custom water cooling. You can see the additional fan we added for an exhaust fan here. And check out the glow from our cooler top notch. The fans look so nice and the cooler illuminates as well too. You may notice the RAM is not synced up with the rest of the fans. That's because that's being controlled by the motherboard, whereas everything else is being controlled by the controller and the case itself because that's how we set it up. So if we wanted this to match, we would have to configure that separately within our motherboard light settings, which the Asus Aura light is a great option. So we wouldn't have any issues there changing it to a blue or a rainbow or whatever we wanted to match, maybe the theme of the rest of the build. Also wanna point out at this step while we're looking at everything, if you are gonna buy some RAM, you might wanna get some low profile RAM depending on the size of the cooler you're gonna use. Space is definitely a delicacy at the top here. So everything works great, but if we wanted to remove the RAM or upgrade the RAM right now, we'd actually have to take off the radiator. Not that big of a deal, but just keep 
that in mind, you could get some lower profile RAM. But again, plenty of room if you want a larger graphics card, additional expansion, we can still get to some of our M.2 bays right here too. So really have plenty of room to grow into this build. Now it's time for our handheld camera here, going up close and personal to our build. So first up, we have our HD audio connected down there. Moving along the board, you can see we have our fan connected and we have our front panel connected. They even label everything for you right there. Then we have our USB 3.0 connected. And keep in mind, we do have an unused USB Type-C connector. Then you can see we have our main power. Moving along, we have our beautiful radiator. Well, look at how cool that is with our awesome illuminated pump housing that matches. We have our CPU power connected up there. And then those two cables coming down here that need to be tidied up are our CPU fan and our AIO pump. They are connected off to the side. Also, you may see we have our M.2 drive under there, PCIe 4.0, and we have our RTX 3060 with no RGB with our power cable coming out right there. Our additional fan that was not included that we got to use as an exhaust that matches and pairs really nicely with our cooler. And then you can see this side, if you want, of that front panel and those three fans. And there is our power supply shroud up close with this nice slot cut out for it. So check it out. Everything looks great. Beautiful RGBs in this build with plenty of additional space depending on future expansion. So now we're in the bio settings of our motherboard. Currently you can see we're in easy mode with a lot of helpful and relevant information right at our fingertips. We don't have to go looking anywhere for it. It's just right here front and center. So you can see our fan profiles, XMP we can enable or disable, DRAM status, our system info. Here's our CPU temp and our motherboard temp, our storage info and our boot priority. Up at the top, we have some LED settings too. And then you can see our resize bar settings. Next, if we want to get into the advanced features, just select advanced mode. And you can see we have a bunch of different options we can go over. So first up, we're in tool. Then we have boot. So we can see our boot settings right here. Then we have monitor. So we can choose what we want to monitor. Advanced. So we'll just scroll down, but you can see all the options right here. We'll keep going. So you can see the rest of them as well. Then we have AI tweaker. Here's our XMP settings. We'll just keep scrolling down. A lot of different options here. And then we have our main, same thing. We'll scroll down. There's our security. And then we have our favorites right here. And we'll scroll down for that too. So that's a quick look at the advanced setting. And then up the top, you can see this menu is expanded as well. We have our Q fan control. You can see our LEDs again. Obviously we can change the language as well. Then you can see our date and time. So really nice, easy to navigate BIOS with a lot of features and capabilities. If you really want to tweak your system, you can do it with this board. So overall, I've had a great experience with this motherboard as I was expecting. I prefer to build my PCs using an ASUS motherboard or an MSI motherboard, but I like to think ASUS is a little bit better with their RGB management. So that is my board of choice. And this definitely lived up to the expectation. Budget friendly, easy to build with, tons of different options you can configure as well. We got it to post on first try, Windows install without any issues. We booted up from our Samsung drive without any issues. So everything is working great. I'm really happy with it. If I'm getting really picky, I think for this particular build, I really wish we had our AIO pump and our CPU fan up at the top. Now, some people might prefer to have them right there for this particular build. Space was kind of a luxury up top, so it actually makes the most sense to have it there. But from a cable management perspective, I would rather it be up top so I can hide it out of the way a little bit better than I'm able to do right here. But overall, really pleased with this board happy with the price and value of it and all the different features that we get. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? 
and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.